Hey, my shirt blends in with the background. Hey, you like that, Rob? Hey, guys. Crew Blind Way back. I'm Rick. I'm Shane. Eric. Aaron. I'm coming. This is Hunter Hunter, episode Hunter. three. Hunter. Last time on Hunter Hunter. We were on our way to go to the Hunter exam, but when yep. we got to the top of the mountain, there was some fucking big magical creature dudes that were a family. Well, now yeah, we're yeah. flying. Uh, so happy. Yeah. And they, they were, were flying they were, them away. Yeah. yeah. Like, like I, the I was saying, like, this is an elaborate ruse, or ain't you? Yeah, they're gonna drop them on but rocks like this, turtles. Th- this is gonna be the last episode. Yep. They passed their test. Yes, they did. There were some impossible questions along the road. <laughs> well, but they passed the test with the shapeshifters as well. Yes. Um, they passed the test on the boat. And they, they passed the, trees. the test with the questions. Yep. They, they did. passed the test with the shapeshifters. Now they're on their way. Now, is that one guy, Leorio? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Would he be here if it wasn't for these other two? I don't know if he's as good of a hunter. He's got a knife. He's good with uh, medical stuff. Well, so he passed because of his empathy, kindness, great medical skills, and compassion. Yeah, yeah. but... He also has a magazine that he likes with people. He do. also he, almost beat up that old woman. He yeah. also refused to give information to the captain. Mm-hmm. He also almost beat up that old woman. He yeah. also didn't want to go to the tree. That's... What's great about a team, Aaron, is but you... Are they well, a team, help or each is other's... this a solo huntership? It's a time bomb. He's... Shut up. Um, they asked them all the question, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just curious, cause you know what I mean though. I feel like he's the worst hunter. Of the okay, team. so you hate him. No, I love him. The rest he's... of us are neutral. Sometimes so. hunters have to work in teams, and so they're testing them on their teamwork yeah. stuff now. Just later. Wait, wait, wait. What do you think, Shane? I thought you were gonna fart. <laughs> <laughs> we'll now take you straight to the site of the exam. Oh straight man. Straight to it. Oh wow. Is that Bond City? Isn't it incredible? Just yet. We've merely earned the right to take the exam. It's progress! I say that calls for a little celebration. It's almost impossible to find the location without a navigator. Who wants a taste? It's Zaban's world famous panda frog on a stick, a delicacy. Panda frog. She's doing backflips. A that's as prosperous as this one is bound Hello, to attract a boob lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Simpsons. Uh huh, sure. It is. Mm. And he hasn't left his hometown, so to him, it's pretty special. What do you think you're doing? Like when Calvin comes Let's to Marietta. Oh, it's so tall. Wow, what a nice place. Lord. Sheesh. Whoa. So that's the exam site, huh? I'm sure no one would ever find that. Secret is, it's the crowd that it draws. Hey, guys. Over here. Huh? It's, <laughs> it's a little, little crappy shack. building. This is it. <laughs> Ooh, I'd rather go there. With us, right? The coffee shop or something. Like like the it's Ivy League. The Hunter exam attracts millions of applicants every year. And no one would expect the exam to be held here. Millions? Right? Yeah, bacon. A potato. You Tens of thousands a combo, day. Please. The one that'll make us the entire world. Right. Make it free. Where are all the other applicants? I can't wait for that steak combo. <laughs> <laughs> That was just the password to get us inside. There's no steak combo. What are those things on the table? So we don't get to eat? Why can't there also be a steak combo? Uh You're very lucky. Thanks for your help. No one's ever said that to me before. You failed the test. Slap! (laughs) Next year, I'll come back you again. Why next year? Because he's assuming no one fails the first year, or no one passes the first year. (laughs) That elevator, you can eat it. Bastard thinks he'll see us again. You need an elevator. Expects us to fail. No, you can't. Once every three years. What's that? It's how often a rookie passes the exam. It's that unusual. Whoa. It's also not too uncommon for veterans to break the rookies so badly that they never retake the test. So that's why Damn. people who want to be hunters are willing to risk everything for it. There are some hunters, sad to say, who seek treasure in wild game. But they're second rate. <laughs> Once you're a hunter, it's free to enter most countries. And facilities, no charge. How's that for That's benefits, cool. huh? Oh, oh, oh. Hunters have many difficult and important responsibilities. Tables keep turning. Preserving artifacts and species, catching... The turnabout. Yeah. Hey, Gold, which of us do you agree with? What kind of hunter will you be? Well, when you put it that way, I guess I... Whoa. 100. Jeez. I think we've arrived. Basement 100. But any evil stuff going on here? Nope. It's the cave. Zombies! 
That guy's got a gun. No, the that girl. Chick. <laughs> I like her. It's like Kenny. Or is the mood here pretty grim? Hello. Please take your number. What the? Thank He's a jelly bean. It's like an opposite Mr. Popo. Here you go. Not found. Oh, oh no. Here. Be sure to wear this on your chest at all times, please. Yo. Sixteen. Goku. You can tell it's our first time here. You're gonna be waiting More a while. or less. <laughs> It's getting easy. It's my 35th attempt, so it comes with the territory. Sheesh. You've tried 35, 35 times? times? Oh, by the way, the name's Tone Pot. Hi, I'm Gum. Tone Pot? This is Kurapika, and this is Leoria. I think it was Tone Pot. You sure have taken the exam a lot. Are you the only one here who's tried a bunch of times, or are there others? Number 255, Toto the Wrestler. Probably the strongest one here, and he's smarter than he looks. Over there is 103. Urban the Snake Charmer, number 191, Motoro, the Kung Fu Master. He's getting old, but he's still the best martial artist around. It's like the Silver Wolf and from One Punch Man. Yeah. Amori, Imori, and Umori. They work great as a team, so they almost nice. always do really well. Oh, oh what's that? Uh-oh. The guy's so intro. Ah! Whoa, what's going on? Look at Thanos. What's happening? My, how unusual. Seems this poor man's arms have turned into flower petals. <laughs> now you see them, now you don't. He's a magician. Number 44, Hisoka the Magician. He was the number one pick to pass last year's exam, until he almost killed an examiner he didn't approve of. Then what the hell is he doing here? The devil himself could pass the hunger exam if the examiners say it's okay. That's how the whole thing works. Anyway, nobody likes the guy. I'd keep my distance if I were you. Well, yeah, he turns your arms into confetti. <laughs> Let's have a toast to friendship. This guy being what so helpful, say? I don't trust him. Hey, right? thanks. Yeah, don't mind if I do. But that's gonna be his power. Uh, I was dying orange first. soda? Thanks a lot, buddy. Uh, uh Cal so loves orange soda. Here's to new friends. Rookie Crusher. Oh. Cheers! <sighs> Our boy, the, uh... Leorio doesn't have super good ears. He didn't hear Sorry, that. Sorry, guys. Can... But the juice I gave you contains a powerful laxative. Oh, my God. He's already pooping. Okay. No. Nope. Love it. You smell it? I think this juice might have gone bad, Mr. Yeah, Tumper. he knows. He can sense it. It tastes funny. Seriously? That was a close call. I've tried all kinds of plants and grasses on the mountain back home. <laughs> So I can usually taste when something's bad. That's some talent you got there. <laughs> that you're there telling Eric? Anything like it. Nope. Damn it. Eric doesn't just taste. Just has to be some wild mountain kid. Wild mountain kid. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I talked to him, he actually seemed pretty gullible. Keep it's one punch yourself. But I am a ninja. Well, ninja. ninja. So I seek the legendary scroll. Hey, we should have a toast to friendship and This guy is going to poison people. This is a flashback. I am a seasoned ninja. I make it a point never to drink anything offered to me by another. You understand? Speaking of trouble, there's 301. That guy just oozes danger. What? You know one thing, I'm not going anywhere near him. It's a bobblehead. You pull one of those needles out and be using it. It's cinnamite. I used historical data from past hunter exams to calculate this year's location. It was really quite simple. And frankly, rather boring. Ah, there you are. The rookie crusher. This is your 35th attempt. That's the second highest number of attempts by anyone. Uh, second. How many times a year is it? You'll hold the current record for the most consecutive attempts with 30. I assume you're too focused on your other objective. Uh, Am I right, Tone Pa, the Rookie Crusher? Say what? <clears throat> Fear not. I won't divulge my findings with anyone else. A terrible life, Tone Pa leads. <laughs> yeah, I ran all year to poison kids. Bastard. Yeah. I'm the one who's gonna it's break like that smash. nose of yours. Yeah. Huh? Hey! Just wait the whole game just to flood somebody. That juice was great! Hey! I know it. That laxative he drank should have taken effect by now. What's up with this kid? So here to give it to him. It's like Skate from Shoots of Rage. Jeesh. Worry. Uh, 
Well, don't be. I'll be fine. I trained for this. Accidents. Poisons don't hurt me. Okay. Impossible. Number 99. Kilowa. Damn. This year's rookies are completely insane. <laughs> but so what? It just means crushing them will be all the more satisfying. Oh. What the hell? Right. It's Calvin. Where? There. It's the Joker. <laughs> I apologize for the delay. Thank you for waiting. He's talking with his mustache. The entry period for Hunter you? is officially closed. So, with no further ado, the Hunter exam will now begin. If you're willing to accept the risks involved, I'll ask you to follow me now. But for the rest of you, kindly exit through the elevator located behind you. All 404 applicants will now participate in phase one. Oh, what? 404? Yeah. <laughs> but some of them got turned into flowers. <laughs> Faster. Yeah, it's like me. <laughs> Whoa, what? Okay, he's got it. Started running. I am Satotes, your examiner for the first phase of the exam. It's my responsibility to lead you all to the second phase. The first phase is quite simple. All you have to do is follow me to the second phase. So try to keep up. Follow you? So that's it? There's nothing else? That's right. I cannot tell you where or when you must arrive. That'd be tacky. That'd, that'd be mentally it's fucked up. Uh, if you just didn't know where the hell you're going, how long? Out of my alley. Keep running, pal. I'm right behind you. Not knowing how far we'll have to run is mentally stressful. Yeah. To say nothing of the physical strain. Yeah, I'm intrigued. Well, just gotta follow this guy. Is it because of the arm guy that he's saying 404, or is there something other reason Probably. why they're saying 404? And he has 405. I think it's the arm guy. Okay. Because no one left when they said you can leave if you need to. Or if you want to. Right? Yeah, it's just he was like all 404 applicants of you. So that arm guy just has no arms for the rest of his life? Yep. That's. Or one of the Magicians don't do that. They return them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then you find out oh, you were a fool. Where's the prestige? No, yeah. he, he's like Scar from Fool and My Alchemist. He stops at step two. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> <Crush him>. Bah! <laughs> all um, God needs to do is just hook him. Reeled in and just set it on his shoulders. Nice mares, huh? That's terrible. You allowed to do that? Fucking sweet. I don't know. Maybe. Sorry. I just, in this universe, <laughs> think if you do the, the wrong thing once, you just lose your arms. Just, <laughs> yes. just eat bumped into that guy. It was like. It's rude. Like, it was rude, Eric. Season five of Supernatural. We it, was, see. it was rude. <sighs> now um, he's gonna write. Now he's gonna take notes. Death. He can't take notes. Yeah. He can run. I mean, there has to be a trick to it, right? It's not just follow him. I don't know. There was these big yellow flying I mean, demon transformers. It's last a, episode. It's a, a test of endurance and fortitude. Yeah, mental fortitude. Nah, I feel like you need to like restrain him somehow and then carry him, and he has to tell you where to go. That seems no. ridiculous, Rick. It's a matter of like testing. Like we're gonna go for twenty minutes, but they don't know we're going for twenty minutes and how far it's gonna be. So when they get to fifteen minutes. Or 19 minutes, they might give up because they don't know how much longer they're going. I can't go anymore. Like, it could go for 32 hours. Yes, yeah, so yeah, he said exactly. his job was to lead them to phase two. So I, I don't know if it's. It could be a big circle. He's just going as long as he wants. Yeah. Maybe. They don't know it. Until he gets down and to like he's going, five people. He's going just fast enough where he can't walk, but you can't really full out run. You have to just keep, you know, yeah. jog. You have to just jog. Or just walk like him. It's a very silly walk. Yeah. He's been to the university. I think he has, yes. <laughs> Ministry. Yeah. Ministry. Damn it. Hmm. So how, how often is there a test? Every year. I, I think it's once, once a year. A year so I that think. guy's been going for 35 years. Yeah. Yes. That's what I was saying. How he looks like he's 35. He's probably like in his 40s. Yeah. yeah. So he was a... Well, he's five years old doing this? Maybe. Maybe. You know, there's, not, but, there's not an age limit to do it. Yeah, but he had been really... Out. He only did 30 of those consecutively. The other five were... Sure. He had to skip because he had to make the soda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, he could have missed one year. How long has he been called the rookie secretivity? <laughs> Crusher. <laughs> well, Crusher. it's not that he's... Well, I, you know, when did he start doing it? Like, he had to get jealous after the first one, I guess. I think he yeah. got tired of losing, so he decided to take on these rookies who don't know any better, and his goal was How to be better you? than them and to crush them, How but he's never going to win. Maybe. Or maybe he actually gets paid by the industry. There has to be a level of competency if he's been doing it, if he started that young. 
maybe he's recruited by like the embassy people or whatever they call them to like we people well. really push rookies. Maybe. So he, he doesn't want to pass it, or he does want to pass it. Or maybe he's, just, just he, he's a actually story. he's saying, actually another person. If he's failed that many times, he's face five. Showed your face, you know? <laughs> your fat <laughs> fucking yeah. face, orange soda. No, but even the magician failed once. Like, well, you didn't get failed. He got kicked out because he had to kill somebody. Yeah, which he thought that's the same thing as failing. Yeah. He failed. It is failing. It is failing. He didn't pass. So he didn't fail. He so, was failed from the course. He didn't pass. He didn't that's, pass. That's failing. That's I don't know. It's the. It's Pass the fail, most, Shane. How yeah. is that not? He he failed, yes, but I mean not through any like incompetence of I mean, his own. Incompetence of as in like he's going to be. He, he's obviously <laughs> very. He's obviously very good, and he's the front runner, and probably again this year. Right? Yeah. And he can it's, Isaiah, you, it's like Isaiah Thomas not making the not making the dream team that one time. He should have made it. Everyone knows he should have. He's like one of the best guys there. I'm uh, feeling gone sure. might be the front runner. He was, yeah. Uh, you know who probably. He probably should have been there. Probably better than he wasn't. <laughs> so the other two, if Gone hadn't been there, the other two would have lost. They would be pooping. Yeah. 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 Pooping, poop all over the place. Yeah. Poop, pooping, poop all over the place. So one in 10,000 make it to the back room of the restaurant. Yeah. yeah. And a rookie passes once every three years. That's, yeah. Yeah. Damn. So they're gonna make up for like. Nine There's no years way here. that all three of them pass them. I think it's the average though too. I mean, it could be. Is yeah. there tests all over the world too, or what? Yeah. No. I, I mean, they come from here. all over the world to yeah. come. Because I mean, there just wouldn't be that many hunters out there at all. Like one every three years, basically. I mean, they, well, no, one rookie. rookie. One uh, rookie. One rookie. First time attempt. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Which yeah. is. Um, yeah, I mean, you have people Leorio, 30 years in a row. Kiraruki yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Um, Kurapika. Kilo, Kilo, Kilowa. I wonder how many packs. Kilowa. Kilowa. I thought it was Kirowa. With an R? Yeah. Kilowa. 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 I'm often. The white haired kid that is immune to poison. Oh, the skater. The, yeah. yeah, the Wesley. Skater boy. Right? Skater boy. Number 99. Number 99. And then we were also introduced to Hanzo, he was the ninja. Uh, yeah. The Hanzo? He's a seasoned ninja. His name is Killua. Killua. That's what he wrote down, but I don't know. It was... I wrote Killua as well. Killua. Okay. Like K-I-L-A-W-A is what I wrote. I wrote K-I-L-O-W-A. Okay. I wrote Killua. I did it phonetically. I did Killua. 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 You are. It's not so they're in, oh, yeah. they're in Zaban City, right? Zaban. Zaban yeah. City? Uh, they're under Zaban City. Now they're under. Yeah, yeah, way under. So all those guys they introduced by name, do you think they're all going to pass this first section? I think I, that... I, I don't know. It's like, know. how's Laptop Kid okay. going to pass? Now, by predicting he's how He's certainly really go. interesting. Based on the chasing himself. intro, I would assume the three we have in the white hair and the kid. kid do. Yeah. But that also could just be an intro for well, this exam arc thing yeah. that we're doing right now. And the magician. No. He was in the intro. Not him. Not him at all. He's bad. Evil. You just mean the four that seem to be like the hunter group. Yeah. yeah they yeah. seem to be the important people. But also, like, the magician, I think, won't be a hunter. He'll just be a bad guy. Because they also, the little announcer guy at the end said, the sea of warriors and villains. Mm-hmm. And I was like, damn, villains. Okay. Yeah. So. So you gotta be a hunter just to do pretty much anything in this world. I'm like, you gotta be good at it. Or I should say, hunters do everything. Well, yes, hunters, hunters do Hunters have because, a lot of privileges. Yeah, yeah, well, they do, but they also they have a lot of responsibilities. They preserve artifacts and species, is what they yeah. say. Yeah, well, the what honorable point. ones do. So, like, there's not like. Are there, are there like, like environmental scientists out there that are doing this stuff? Or is it just hunters? Some are preserving, some of them are saving stuff, some of them are hurting people, some people are bounty hunters. But you have to have the, this license to be able to do anything, and you get resources, of course. You get yeah. the yeah. perks of being able to go into new, other countries for free, and what else did they say? Like be- They said any establishment doesn't charge you for mm-hmm. their services. And the buffets. Fuck, that's crazy. I know. You just go in. That's why it's Empire Buffet. Buffet. That's <laughs> the best, man. It's like it's like having a uh, a famous person card at uh, oh Chipotle. You just get free entrees for life. You can just like walk into like famous a hotel. Hey, card. give me a. What do we gotta be on famous person card to get that? Card. What? We don't. Know. I've never I heard. I said of it's this. like having a famous. What's person? a famous person card? Explain. Guy. Chipotle gives out membership cards for famous people, people who they. 
deem as famous enough to have one of these cards, and you get free entrees for life. We need a Jago one of those. Hey, oh, we, need, one. we need a one, get a Chipotle, and Marietta. But if you're two, get this card. If you're famous yeah. enough for such a card, do you really need a card identifying yourself? Like, shut no, it's just <laughs> not like a picture ID. It's like, hey, if, you're, if you present this card, you get your entree for free. Here's the free. thing. If you're famous enough for this card... Are you really going to Chipotle? <laughs> I mean, it's Chipotle. If you become a hunter like like uh, uh, Leorio wants to be, he wants to do it to get money. Like, yeah. I mean, you don't have to pay for anything ever. Yeah. And then, but you get paid lots of money. And you get paid. Yeah. Man, I'm not sure if it's every shop. It can't be every shop. That I would be amazing. I was thinking like you just walk into travel a travel and you don't say yeah hotel and food yeah. hotel yeah. And food like it's not like you can go buy a car for free like establishments <laughs> don't don't charge you for their services but like if you want to buy something you probably still have to pay for what it. kind of services I don't know like repairing armor escort or... services so so basically well, that link if you want to pay or not make sure you're okay yeah. Yeah, escort you places. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to make sure you're safe. Yeah. <laughs> like bodyguards. Yeah. So you don't get lost. Kevin Costner version. On your way yeah, to hunting. You would need that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I want Toto the wrestler to All win. All right, so the thing is, though, like that one lady who uh, made, you know, asked you to, you know, asked you a question, you have a certain amount of time to answer it. Grandma. Grandma. Five seconds. So obviously everyone from their region had some version of that. Because not every, changes not, every year. Not everyone funneled through that little area. Yeah. Everyone from that region. Well, that seemed like a morality test. Okay, I mean, so they, they all have different kind of morality. Everything tests. slowly is funneling them down. So it's thinking of like screens, and each screen has tighter and tighter holes. Yeah, right? but what I'm saying is so like, how's people, there... people had to make it to the city area first, which a lot of them didn't make it through the boat ride. Yeah. And right. then the people there went the wrong directions yeah. and didn't go the correct way. Then the people that went there had to answer questions, and the people that went further. Yeah. My question is like, you know, like, we see a lot of morally gray people. It's, it, it, I thought it was establishing well, that, that, like, you know, you have to have a certain type of character. I mean, we, we well, saw them pass it because of morals. But, for example, in the shapeshifter challenge, Leorio passed it because of his morals. But Gon passed it because of his abilities. So, yeah. so maybe there was another way to pass that test. Also, the one kid with the laptop, he might not have gone through any of those tests and he just knows where it is yeah. because of his algorithm or Could whatever. Be. Yeah. And it's all, they also made a point to mention, like, the instructors won't pass you if they don't want to pass you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, every, every year is different instructors and different tests. So it's, it's, standardized it's completely up to them. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> but what Shane's saying, too, I mean, is, like, is there a method in which, like, people came from... Eight different directions with all these different ways of coming to one position. Is well, yeah, not thing? everybody started on the boat. Yeah, yeah. We, like some, I mean, some like, might have lived on, in that city. They could have been on a boat somewhere else, and they and then they made it to a city and like, hey, walk towards this mountain with the tree, but it's not the same mountain with the tree that he has. You know, they're all funneling, and this is the start of the. Exam. So it's a bond city. Like so you could just live there, city, and go there. Yeah, but, but you, you won't. They go. change location of the test. Yeah, every year. Every year. Right? I mean, and it's a worldwide thing, too, right? Do they always to come to the same country? Well, they don't So like the farther you are, the harder the chance it is you're going to make it that far. They don't change the location of the restaurant place, right? That's been the location of millions come through every year, right? Well, they that's the little, same place. That guy on the laptop made it sound like he knew the location, though, because... The yeah, but he's a rookie. He's never been there before. Yeah, but the password to get in always changes. You have to get through those tests he said to have he had, a he guide to get you the through. previous locations yeah, and okay. guess the new one. It's just things like that make it sound like it's multiple places, but then the way the other guy talked, it made it sound like like the guide made it yeah. sound like no, this is it. This is where you go. Millions of people are all the time. Yeah. Come to this crappy looking place here. I was like, so you, do they just move that crappy looking place to different places? Maybe. Or I mean, I, I don't, I'm trying to like. Discover this world and where the limits and stuff, and then a guy bumped into another guy and his arms fell off. And the guy yeah. the <laughs> they didn't fall off, they disintegrated into confetti. I'm just saying, like, I'm trying to think, okay, what can you do and not do in this world? You can't bump this into He's really good at smell. This guy has a fucking knife. This guy bumps into you and your arm turns confetti. This That's, guy has an flower oof. petals. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be so fucked if you needed, like, if you needed, like, a turn a doorknob to get out of there. This other guy's been poisoning children for 30 years. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't know why, but whenever they were like, what What all people do you know? And he's like, oh, well, here is this wrestler guy. Yeah. And as they went through, I was like, oh, hey. And then the next one was like, oh, hey, Shane. And then, oh, hey, remember Rick. And then it got to, like, the brothers, and I was like, well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm all thrown off. Yeah. <laughs> and then it went to the next one. So I was like, oh, well, the wrestler dude, and then the snake charmer dude, and the old ninja dude. And then I skipped the brothers, and then it was the guy with the blow darts, the crazy wild man. Yeah. 
And then there was no one for me. I was like, damn it! <laughs> and then the next one they showed cheer. was the bald ninja. Yes, they did. Hanzo. Vittorio Hanzo. Seeks the legendary ninja scroll. Uh, he does. Yeah. He has to be a hunter to do it. Seems like a lot I of guess. cool people with a lot of cool powers. It reminds me of a certain show. Yeah. That I like quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, Pokemon? All right, thank you so much for watching this reaction of Hunter Hunter. If you want to see more, you can right now at patreon.com slash blindwave. Also, be sure to check out all the links in the description. There's so many. How many? So many. I think it's something special Peach. that you were showing them. Uh, it just shirt. says Hunter Hunter. It's my Hunter the shirt. Oh. The shirt. Woohoo. She's it. Hunter Square. Very sure.